Hi there, this is another video on how to add extra LEDs to your Link One USB LED light. So, previously I showed you how to add this jack so you can easily plug in cables to, um, to, to NeoPixels that you've already wired up. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add something a little bit more, perhaps easier to fit into things, and that's these wires with uh, jumper jacks on them for things like, say, this NeoPixel ring that already has some mail connectors on it. So, um, first thing you do is uh, get the Link 1 in some sort of a vise. I like this little stick of vise. And then, I, these wires were from old jumpers that were bad on one side, so I just cut them off and tinned them, stripped them and tinned them. And I'm using orange for data, red for power and brown for ground. So let's do the data line first. Get a little solder on our soldering iron. And these are already tin, so I should just have to heat it up a little bit and it should stick. Oops. It should be okay because the next one is going in right after it. And we'll just heat up that hole so the so the wire will go through the solder. Just like that. And a little more solder. Okay. And if you can tell, I'm pushing the wired down to so the insulation is butting up against the little PCB. Um, that's so you won't get any shorting on that side. Now unfortunately that means that the wires are going to be sticking up pretty high on the other side and so you just have to trim those down and do some visual inspection here to make sure that my solder joints aren't too bad. Yeah, so let's trim those down. I see any shorts. So let's plug it into a protected supply first before we plug it into a computer and see if it does its little built-in light pattern. And it does. So means we don't have any shorts. <laughs> we could have also used a continuity meter um, so we don't like risk breaking our blink one. So normally what I would do is I put some hot glue right over on these cables, um, maybe bend them down and kind of run them there to, to sort of secure them because you don't want to pull on these very much. But now we can hook them to up, yeah, hook them up to our ring here and on this cable that I kind of jury rigged, the red goes to the red marked one, brown goes to the black marked one, and data goes to the unmarked one. And so now, if we plug all this in, so we can get all in camera here, we should get it playing. And these will only turn on when it does white. So here we go. Uh oh, ah, I did something wrong. All right, let's see what I'm doing wrong. No, it looks correct. Unless I wear this up wrong. No.
it's on the off chance. This is a, a refurb um, Link One. Uh, since you know, maybe I didn't solder down the LEDs very well. And there we go. Okay, that's what the problem was. I shouldn't have used a refurb LED, a refurb Link One. I should have used a brand new Link One. But anyway, um, so now this one will turn on. Great. And I can control this via the little command line app to play such great things as a bunch of random colors. Oh, oops. Let me plug it in first. There we go. Nice, pretty random colors. All right, so <laughs> with the small exception of the um, refurb unit, that is how you add extra LEDs to your Blink-1. Thanks.